When Syria is not coming for men to do ballet. When ISIS came, they would call me to, to threaten me. I stayed dancing because it's my life, it's not their life. And nothing to be ashamed of, it's me. My name is Ahmed Jude. I'm from Syria, but I live in Amsterdam now. I'm a dancer. My dad didn't want me to dance because being a ballet dancer there is something so shameful. And he did whatever you can imagine to stop me from beating, locking the door, <laughs> burning my dance clothes, my books. As more as he pushing me back, as more as I want to go forward. I really wanted to work on myself because this is the feeling that I have been working for almost my whole life. When the war starts in Syria, the doors being open for tourists from different places like ISIS, Al-Qaeda, they would burn dancers and they would call me to threaten me. And at that time I just went to a tattoo shop and I did my tattoo here, Dance or Die, and it's on the place where they cut the heads. I went to the Roman theater in Belmira. They used to kill people there. And I went there to dance to tell them, this theater is for art, not for killing people. Dance is not only on stage. If I don't have a studio, I would practice on the roof of my house. The Dutch journalist, he found me on Facebook while he was looking for dance in Syria. When the journalist contacted me, he said, I'm coming to uh, make a documentary about my life. I was, are you kidding me? You are coming from Holland to Syria? No, don't come. And he was, well, I'm coming anyway. If, I, if I'm there, will you work with me? I was, if you are here, I work with you. After the documentary being online, the Dutch National Ballet, they saw it. And the director, he contacted me, sends me an email. We want to get you here, we will help you. But as I don't have passport, how you could give me visa to Europe? And he said, we will make it happen. So they make it happen. So when I met him, I just hugged him like, yes, like, thank you. I'm so thankful for him. When I came here, I had a culture shock for a while and I was feeling guilty to be happy. Every family in Syria, they lost someone. You forget all your emotions there. So the problem now is much bigger than war. Our fighting is inside and inside everyone in Syria. When I'm in the ballet class doing board bra, then I suddenly remember something in Syria and I just do it, but I'm not here. It's annoying when your past is attacking your mind while you are trying to build a new life. In the Dutch National Ballet, there is a lot of different nationalities in between the dancers. And to be the only Arabian there, it's something give me more responsibility. They don't treat you where are you from or what is your religion or... No, we just live together and we dance together in the same class. That's so beautiful. <laughs> So we can live together, we can be happy together. <laughs> I like to teach dance because I suffered a lot to learn it. 
It's building bridges between our culture and their culture. What I really want to teach is dance can change your life. Dance can give you strong personality, it can give you courage. It gives me all that courage to face the whole war in Syria. I'm trying every day to work as hard as I can to be the person who deserves this opportunity.